हेलो हेलो एवरीवन यस गुड इवनिंग यस चिन्नू गुड इवनिंग सतीश गुड इवनिंग मोनिका एस गुड इवनिंग एस निर्मल बसन गुड इवनिंग नवीन कुमार गुड इवनिंग यस सुरेखा गुड इवनिंग प्रसाद यस वी यस वी हैव लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स गेटिंग जॉइन वी क्विकली शेयर द लिंक्स सो दैट एवरी वन कैन जॉइन एंड विल स्टार्ट दिस इंपॉर्टेंट सेशन वेरी क्विकली यस प्रियंका रेड्डी यस गुड इवनिंग Aswati yes i am fine what about you how is your preparation going on for the north set yes hi punit hello yes divya hello samudra yes good evening good evening okay one month left for your exam north set exam okay those who are preparing have positive motivation okay so if obviously if you can, if you cannot yes others also cannot yes you can others also can okay yes with this pot, posi, positive motivation yes we are going to start with today's class yes let us give some time so that few others will jo get joined why what happened what happened monica what happened with your preparation priyanka m yes good evening priyanka how are you suresh rathod hello suresh how are you yes p samudra why what happened nahi there is nothing to see the time period is same for everyone okay time period is same for everyone yes in this one month of time or in this like the time which you have for not set yes how you have to prepare in that way you have to prepare okay it's not taking huge test books and studying in this last minute better go with rapid revision books or one liners do mcqs do attend live sessions and mcq discussions for this one month and do prepare your own notes that's enough in the form of one liners okay don't take saunders book mosbys everything will not work out in this last minute okay right so do okay so in last minute lo textbook saithe chadavaddandi okay so try to attend mcq discussions okay try to attend live discussions and prepare one liners and revise it frequently right suresh rathod sir please help uh, prepare oh, what led sir so what happened oh. so i have also already given you a schedule right oka schedule kuda meek share chesanu ee schedule ni follow avandi anesi i know most of you cannot schedule okay most of you are in your uh, uh, mlc as working as chos M, uh, like few are working in hospitals in kontha mandi okay clinical instructors ga work chestunnaru so mee andarki mee time period prakaranga nenaithe oka okay oka మంచి టైం స్టడీ ప్లాన్ అయితే షేర్ చేశాను మీ ఆ స్టడీ ప్లాన్ అయితే ఫాలో అవ్వండి ఓకే సో నవ్ లీవ్ అబౌట్ దాట్ అట్లీస్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ థర్టీ డేస్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఐ విల్ టెల్ యూ ఓకే సో ఇన్ థర్టీ డేస్ డోంట్ గో విత్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్స్ దట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ పాయింట్ అండ్ సెకండ్ పాయింట్ యూ షుడ్ హ్యావ్ ఇన్ యూర్ మైండ్ ఇస్ ఓకే హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ సిలబస్ కంప్లీట్ చేయాలని అయితే అనుకోవద్దండి నేను ఏవైతే షోర్ స్టడీ టాపిక్ షేర్ చేశానో నా యూట్యూబ్ షార్ట్స్లో ఉందో ఆ టాపిక్స్ మాత్రమే చదవడానికి అయితే ట్రై చేయండి ఓకే సో అవిటిని కూడా ఎలా చదువుతారంటే ఇన్డెప్త్గా చదవద్దండి ఓకే ఏదైనా మళ్ళీ బృణరన్ సిద్ధార్థ్ సాండర్స్ తీసుకొని పెద్ద పెద్ద నోట్స్ అయితే రాసుకోవద్దండి ఓకే సో నా క్లాసెస్ కానీ అటెండ్ అయ్యారంటే నేను ఏదైనా టాపిక్ని వన్ లైనర్ లాగా ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తూ ఉంటాను సో ఆ వన్ లైనర్ లాగా అయితే రాసుకోండి ఓకే సో కుషింగ్ సిండ్రోమ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ సో ఆల్ కుషింగ్ సిండ్రోమ్కి సంబంధించింది పెద్ద నోట్స్ రాసుకోకుండా జస్ట్ హాఫ్ పేజ్లో కుషింగ్ సిండ్రోమ్ కంప్లీట్ అయిపోవాలి అన్ని ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్స్ అలాగా వన్ లైనర్స్ ప్రిపేర్ చేసుకొని ఎవరైతే ఇంతవరకు ప్రిపేర్ అవ్వలేదో వాళ్ళు ఆ ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ లిస్ట్ పక్కన పెట్టుకొని జిరాక్స్ చేసుకొని ఇలాగైతే వన్ లైనర్స్ ప్రిపేర్ అవ్వ ప్రిపేర్ చేసుకోండి రైట్ దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ థింగ్ విచ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ సెకండ్ థింగ్ ఈస్ అటెండింగ్ పీవైక్యూస్ 
ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్స్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఓకే ప్రీవియస్ ఇయర్స్ ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ త్రీ టు ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ ఖచ్చితంగా మీరు చూసిన తర్వాత ఎగ్జామ్కి ఎగ్జామ్ అటెండ్ అవ్వాలి నెక్స్ట్ పాయింట్ వచ్చి లైవ్ డిస్కషన్స్ ఎంసీక్యూ డిస్కషన్స్ ఫర్ ష్యూర్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు అటెండ్ సో డైలీ లైవ్ సెషన్స్ అటెండ్ అవ్వండి నేను ఆల్రెడీ అప్లోడ్ అయితే చేశాను ఆ సెషన్స్ కూడా ఒకసారి చూడండి ఓకే సో డైలీ లైవ్ సెషన్స్ అయితే అటెండ్ అవ్వండి ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ వాట్ యూ షుడ్ డూ ఇన్ దిస్ లాస్ట్ థర్టీ డేస్ ఓకే సో నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఇంక్రీజ్ యువర్ ఎంసీక్యూ రేట్ ఆల్సో సో ఇంతవరకు ఫిఫ్టీ ఎంసీక్యూసే పర్ డే చేస్తున్నామంటే కాదు ఇంకా మీ స్టడీ టైంని ఇంక్రీజ్ చేసుకోవాలి ఓకే దిస్ ఈజ్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ you you are changing your life okay something it's related to your life so take it very very seriously only 30 days on your hand okay june 3rd you will appear for your norset exam okay you and me cannot change the date and the date got fixed right so e okay so ilagaithe prepare avandi okay and malli cheptunnanu a sure study topics maatram chadivithe chalu inka evaithe topics unnayo unna inka kuda important topics unnai కానీ మీరు చదవలేరు దాన్ని ఓకే నేను ఇచ్చినా కూడా దాన్ని రివైజ్ చేయాలంటే ఇట్ విల్ టేక్ మోర్ టైం ఓకే అందుకనేసి నేను చాలా చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్స్ని నేను షేర్ చేశాను ఓకే అవిటికి మాత్రం నోట్స్ ప్రిపేర్ వన్ లైనర్స్ ప్రిపేర్ చేసుకొని రివైజ్ చేసుకొని ఎంసీక్యూ డిస్కషన్స్ అటెండ్ అవ్వండి అండ్ ఏదైనా ఒక బుక్ ఎంసీక్యూ బుక్ తీసుకొని వాటిలో ఎంసీక్యూస్ చేయండి పర్ డే అట్లీస్ట్ హండ్రెడ్ టు వన్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఎంసీక్యూస్ చేయండి ఓకే రైట్ సో అండ్ అటెండ్ లైవ్ డిస్కషన్స్ this is what you should do in this 30 days okay right yes samudra i have explained everything what you have to do in this 30 days yes now it's time to start up with our class okay without any further delays i am going to start with the class okay right yes okay right so now tell me they are asking you what is the position provided in this image can anyone tell me what is the procedure going on here and what is the position they are asking you see what is the they are asking you the position here yes yes hi monica hi yes ashividya hi alsiram hello alsi good evening so nice you, uh, so nice to see you in the live session okay yes parimala et intubation something is happening i want the position can anyone tell me what is this position which you provide during uh, something they are inserting right what is what is the device that in, they are inserting tell me can anyone tell me okay what is this position i'll see thank you also thank you so much it means a lot for me and so nice to see you in my live session yes nirmal vasant can anyone tell me the specific name yes very very good somebody had given the right answer it's venkatesh palikonda it is called sniffing position okay sniffing position yes okay what they are doing here is laryngoscope they are inserting a laryngoscope right so okay during direct laryngoscopy what is the position that is provided is sniffing position okay which is also called as yes 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 very good alsi is telling the answer it is not rose rose is given in tracheostomy excellent alsi in tracheostomy adenoidectomy tonsillectomy the position which is provided is rose position but here in direct laryngoscopy or when you are doing bronchoscopy బ్రాంకోస్కోప్ ఏదైనా ఇన్సర్ట్ చేస్తున్నాము అంటే ఆ టైంలో మనం ఏ పొజిషన్ ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తామంటే సో దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ స్నిఫింగ్ పొజిషన్ ఆర్ బాయ్స్ పొజిషన్ దిస్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కాల్డ్ యాజ్ బాయ్స్ పొజిషన్ ఓకే రైట్ అండర్స్టూడ్ సో గోయింగ్ విత్ ద ఎస్ ఎస్ న్యూమల్ వర్సన్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ రైట్ ఇట్స్ అ లారింగోస్కోపి విచ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ ఆన్ ఓకే రైట్ కమింగ్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ స్లైడ్ నౌ టెల్ మీ వాట్ ఈస్ ఏ హియర్ వాట్ ఈస్ బి హియర్ in this image you are going to tell me what is a what is b okay don't tell it as laryngoscope i want the something is shown with the arrow marks what is that yes be fast image based answers within 5 seconds try to answer right a mac and uh, excellent parimala is telling a is mac macintosh and b is miller 
Samudra, Miller, Macintosh, La Nirmal Vasan. I am not asking about laryngoscope. Asking about the blades here. Okay. Yes. Yes, Nirmal Vasant. No, something which right. Vinita, Mac, and Miller. Yes, all all of you are right. See here the the what they are asking you he, he, here with the arrow mark is the blades. Okay, there are two types of blades here. Okay, forget about the laryngoscope. I know all of you know laryngoscope, but see the blades here. Okay, one is curved blade and another one is straight. Right, curved blade. What is the name of this curved blade? It is Macintosh, Macintosh blade. Okay, where do we use this in adults? And coming to this B, okay, it is straight. Where do we use this straight blade? Okay, what is the name of this? This is called Miller blade. Where do we use this in children? Okay, right? Okay, so the option. Option A is Macintosh blade which we use in adults. Option B, Miller blades which we use in children. This is the clarity that you should have. Right? Okay. So coming to next image. Now you people are going to answer this. It's very very important image. I want all of you to answer. Fata fat say I want all of you to answer this. Right? Yes. What is this? Yes. Metal tracheostomy. Any specific name is there for this? I want the name. I don't want what is this. Okay, I want the name, exact name. Somebody's Punit D is telling TPs. Shobhamam, your metal tracheostomy tube. Okay, Nirmal Vasan tracheostomy tube, metal tube, inner cannula, obturator, outer cannula. Okay, I know this is tracheostomy tube. What is the name of this tube? Obviously, tracheostomy tube is right. What is the name, exact name of this? What is my name? I am not a human being. What is my name? It is Suman. Similarly, it is not a tracheostomy tube. It, it has a name. Yes, obviously, it is a tracheostomy tube. It has a name. For, okay. Keshav. Yes, ma'am. Hi, ma'am. How are you? How is your preparation going on for the NOSET exam? I hope it is going well. Yes. Uh, oh, somebody is telling Troker. You are wrong. Somebody is selling troker. How troker will appear? No, troker is wrong. Okay. Suresh Rathod is telling law. Okay. So uh, let me tell you. What is this device? Is Jackson's metallic tube. You are all right. This is TT. Okay. Tracheostomy tube. There is a name for this. Jackson metallic tube. Okay. Right. Right. Very, very important. Yes. We do, there is no cup for this. Okay. Uh, Jackson metallic tube. Ippadu manam use chayidam leir. Metal tubes ni manam use chayim. Okay na. So, Jackson's metallic tube is not used nowadays. I will tell you detailly in uh, the further slides. Okay. I have planned it. Tracheostomy in detail I will explain you. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. This is called Jackson's metallic tube. Yes. Alsiram you are right. This is Jackson's metallic tube. So, coming to the next one. What is this? Tell me what is this? Yes, image based questions should not take lot of time. Okay, immediately you have to answer. That is how you will save your time in your NORSET exam. Image based is like just no theory at all, nothing to read, just seeing and selecting the option. That should happen within 5 to 10 seconds, not more than that. Nirmal Vasan curved tracheostomy tube. Okay. So, curved tracheostomy tube, yes, this is called Portex, Portex tracheostomy tube, which is, yes, of course, you have a curve here, okay, Bel okay, that's why this is called Portex tracheostomy tube, which are used nowadays, okay, metal tubes, this J Jackson's metallic tubes and Fuller metallic tubes, now we, nowadays we don't use this, okay, what with, which you, we are using is Portex tubes, okay yes you are all right this is a curved tube this is a portex tracheostomy tube okay forget about the cuff okay it is it, it may be curved or uncurved okay right so now since tracheostomy is a very very important topic i will take few one-liners 
एंड नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू गिव मी आंसर्स विद इन ओके फास्टली फटाफट से आई वॉन्ट आंसर्स फ्रॉम यू वन एट वॉट लेवल ट्रेक्योस्टिमेट यू बीस इंसर्टेड येस आंसर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एट वॉट लेवल ट्रेक्योस्टमी ट्यूब इज इंसर्टेड समुद्र टी टू टी थ्री निर्मल वसन टी थ्री टी फोर केशोबा मैम ये टी टू थ्री थ्री ये सुरेश राठौड आई थिंक द लाइव इज गोइंग स्लो इन सुरेश राठौड मोबाइल ये रेनी यादव ये इट इज टी थ्री थ्री फोर ये ये यू विल इंसर्ट इन टी टू टी थ्री एंड टी फोर ओके बट इन but in exam if you want to select anything select t2 t3 okay select t2 t3 okay in this three in t2 t3 space you can insert or three t3 t4 space also you can insert but never on t1 can anyone tell me never on t1 why you will never insert on t1 why can anyone tell me t1 t2 space you, can you insert no it 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 will cause what is the structure very near nearer to that is larynx it can cause laryngeal stenosis okay your voice box will get damaged so that's why no never do you will never insert tracheostomy tube on t1 t2 okay it is t2 t3 or t3 t4 okay best answer if you want to select in your exam select t2 t3 right so next coming to the second question can anyone tell me what is the second yes position provided during tracheostomy just now i think alsi had told you in the chat box right what is the position that is provided excellent nirmal vasant yes lotus yes you are all going right yet few few more answers venkatesh and children yes tell me suresh rathod okay parimala rose position suresh rathod Punit D rose position yes in tracheostomy it is rose position roses position okay the position which is provided during tracheostomy is roses position okay coming to the next question which type of tracheostomy tube is inserted immediately after the tracheostomy whether tell me whether it is curved or uncurved yes yes roses position is right right roses position who yes right now answer for the third question which type of tube you are going to insert nowadays we are using portex tube only parimala we are not using metallic tubes okay i'll tell you why but now answer whether it is curved or uncurved yes parimala is selling curved yes yes curved okay tell me yes give me some more answers let me see whether it is curved or uncurved swati kasu curved okay priyanka reddy it is curved nirmal vasant curved let me see how many members are going to give the answer for this yes all of you are right it is curved why immediately after tracheostomy there is bleeding right it can get aspirated so that's why to prevent aspiration immediate to tracheostomy you will insert the curved tube okay to prevent aspiration so next coming to the fourth question removal of tt tube is called as somebody answered it okay so now tell me what is the fourth question answer here removal of tt tube is called as case ramani excellent okay decannulation okay uh, nirmal vasant decannulation vinita decannulation punit d decannulation excellent all of you are right it is called as decannulation okay right so removal of tt tube is called as decannulation okay right so next coming to the fifth question in a patient with tt block the next step of management is now answer for the fifth question what you will do in a patient with, who had developed tt block okay so tt aned block aipoyindi poorthiga so next step of management enti somebody is telling suctioning okay let me see okay uh david smith is telling removal of the tube immediately okay let me see few more answers okay nirmal vasan suction and change the tube okay uh, De- uh chaitanya is telling decannulization shobha ma'am yes remove it okay suctioning suctioning parimala is telling nebulization okay 
ట్యూబ్ బ్లాక్ అయిపోయింది సో నెబలైజేషన్ ఇచ్చినా కూడా ఇట్ విల్ నాట్ రీచ్ టు ద లంగ్స్ ఓకే సో నో నో స్టెప్ ఆఫ్ నెగ్ నెబలైజేషన్ డోంట్ థింక్ ఆల్సో ఓకే సురేష్ రాథోడ్ క్లియర్ ద అబ్స్ట్రాక్ట్ నో ఎస్ లెట్ మీ టెల్ యూ ద ఆన్సర్ ఓకే సో టీటీ బ్లాక్ అయిపోయింది అంటే ఇమ్మీడియట్గా చేయాల్సిన స్టెప్ ఈజ్ యూ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు చేంజ్ ద ట్యూబ్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు రిమూవ్ ద ట్యూబ్ అండ్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు చేంజ్ ఇట్ ఇమీడియట్లీ చేంజ్ ఇట్ ఓకే చేంజ్ ద టీ ట్యూబ్ దాట్ విల్ బి యువర్ నెక్స్ట్ స్టెప్ ఓకే బెస్ట్ స్టెప్ టు ప్రివెంట్ టీటీ బ్లాక్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ యూ సి హియర్ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ బెస్ట్ స్టెప్ టు ప్రివెంట్ టీటీ బ్లాక్ ఇఫ్ దే ఆర్ ఆస్కింగ్ యూ నౌ ఆన్సర్ సక్షనింగ్ ఓకే సెకండ్ అవర్లీ సక్షనింగ్ టు బి డన్ ఓకే సెకండ్ అవర్స్లీ సక్షనింగ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ టు ప్రివెంట్ టీటీ బ్లాక్ బట్ వన్స్ టీటీ బ్లాక్ హ్యాడ్ హ్యాపెన్ దెన్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు రిమూవ్ ద ట్యూబ్ అండ్ యూఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు ఇన్సర్ట్ వన్ మోర్ న్యూ ట్యూబ్ రైట్ రైట్ సో నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ద సెవెంత్ క్వశ్చన్ సక్షన్ యూస్ టు క్లీ ఓకే సొల్యూషన్ యూస్ టు క్లీన్ టీటీ సైడ్ డ్యూరింగ్ డ్రెస్సింగ్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ సొల్యూషన్ యూ విల్ యూస్ టెల్ మీ బి ఫాస్ట్ అండ్ టెల్ గివ్ మీ ద ఆన్సర్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఓకే సో దాట్ ఎవరైతే ట్రెక్యాస్టి మీ చదవలేదు మీకు ఇక్కడ ట్రెక్ ట్రెక్యాస్టి మీ ట్యూబ్ టాపిక్ కంప్లీట్ అయిపోతుంది ఓకేనా డోంట్ వరీ సో ఐమ్ కంప్లీటింగ్ ద ట్రెక్యాస్టి మీ టాపిక్ హియర్ హూ ఎవర్ హ్యాడ్ నాట్ స్టడీడ్ ఎస్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ స్టడీ దిస్ అండ్ గో ఎస్ దట్స్ వెల్ అండ్ ఓకే ఎస్ పరిమళ ఎన్ఎస్ ప్రియాంక రెడ్డి ఎన్ఎస్ ఎస్ హారిక ఎన్ఎస్ చైతన్య ఎస్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూఆర్ కరెక్ట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ జీరో పాయింట్ నైన్ పర్సెంట్ నార్మల్ సెల్ అయింది దట్ విల్ దట్ యూ విల్ యూస్ టు క్లీన్ ద సైట్ ఆఫ్ టిటి ఓకే డోంట్ యూస్ కోవిడ్ అండ్ ఐడన్ ఓకే సో నౌ కమింగ్ టు సొల్యూషన్స్ యూస్డ్ డ్యూరింగ్ సక్షనింగ్ వాట్ సొల్యూషన్స్ యూ విల్ యూస్ డ్యూరింగ్ సక్షనింగ్ నౌ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ సక్షనింగ్ ఎస్ సురేష్ రాథోడ్ హ్యాడ్ టోల్డ్ ఇట్ ఎస్ ఎనీ ఫర్దర్ ఆన్సర్స్ సురేష్ రాథోడ్ ఎన్ఎస్ సురేష్ రాథోడ్ ఈస్ టెల్లింగ్ వన్ మోర్ ఆన్సర్ సోడా బైక్ దివ్య ఈస్ టెల్లింగ్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ రేణి యాదవ్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ సముద్ర ఈస్ టెల్లింగ్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ చైతన్య ఈస్ టెల్లింగ్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ నిర్మల్ వసంత్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ అండ్ సోడా బైక్ ఎస్ ఫర్ సక్షనింగ్ ద సొల్యూషన్ విచ్ వీ యూజ్ ఇస్ బోత్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ నార్మల్ సెలైన్ అండ్ యూ కెన్ ఆల్సో యూస్ సోడి సోడియం బై కార్బొనేట్ ఓకే బోత్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ క్యాన్ బి యూస్డ్ టు డూ సక్షనింగ్ ఓకే right so now answer the last question how often tt dressing to be done how often tt dressing to be done whether it is once in a day twice in a day thrice in a day every shift you will do the tt dressing can you tell me can you can you people give me a clarity on this question question number 9 question number 9 can anyone tell me twice a day harika is telling once in a day in each shift no in each shift you have to do tt dressing no so it is once in a day yes yes uh, shesha kumar yes you are right priyanka reddy you are right okay <laughs> not punit d no right so <laughs> once in a day okay once in a day tt dressing should be done once in a day right so now i'll tell you so all of you are answering it as t- metal tube potex tube yes i'll give you a clarity why i already told you right jackson's metallic tube ni maname ippudu use cheyadam ledhu we are not using jackson's metallic tube nowadays why it is made up of metal right so if you are inserting directly metal into trachea it, it will exert more pressure okay it will exert more pressure on trachea so high chances of tracheal high chances of tracheal stenosis your trachea can get damaged it can cause stenosis of your trachea so that's why we are not using nowadays not using nowadays okay very important table please try to take screenshot okay for this class i'm not going to share any pdf you have to take notes okay right so metal tubes we are not using nowadays because it ha- it will they are high pressure okay so that's why th- they will exert high pressure so if there if it is exerting high pressure on trachea obviously it can cause tracheal stenosis right so that's why okay then there will be difficulty decannulation many things can happen so that's why we are not using jackson's metallic tube nowadays and which we are using is portex tube 
ओके पॉर्टेक्स ट्यूब इट विल एक्जेक्ट लेस प्रेशर ऑन ट्रकिया लेस प्रेशर ऑन ट्रकिया सो इफ देर इज लेस प्रेशर एक्जेटेड लेस चांसेस ऑफ ट्रकियल स्टीनोसिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टेबल प्लीज ट्राई टू टेक यूर नोट्स ओके दैट्स वाई ओके सिंस देर इज मोर एडवांटेजेस फॉर पोर्टेक्स ट्यूब दैन यूर मेटल ट्यूब वी आर यूजिंग पोर्टेक्स ट्यूब नवेडेज used nowadays okay right very very important kindly take a screenshot at least okay so what kind of tubes we are which we are using nowadays portex tubes okay it, it will be curved and uncurved okay whatever it may be you can easily identify by seeing a curve okay right all of you got it right right so next coming to and one more slide what is this device which you are seeing here what is yes baskar saini hello yes how are you baskar saini yes yes tell me goodles airway yes priyanka am goodles airway ओके निर्मल वसंत रोहिणी स्टेलिंग ओपीए यस के शोभा मैम यस एयरवे व्हाट इज द एयरवे यस आई नो दिस इज एन एयरवे व्हाट टाइप ऑफ व्हाट टाइप ऑफ एयरवे इज दिस ओके गुड हिल्स एयरवे यस दिस इज कॉल्ड ओपीए योर ओरो फेरेंजल एयरवे व्हिच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज गुड हिल्स एयरवे ओके ओके कैन आई यूज दिस इन होम यू विल यूज दिस कॉन्शियस पेशेंट्स और अनकॉन्शियस पेशेंट्स let me see how many members are going to give correct answer for this okay opa whether you can use in what kind of patients you will use this yes tell me yes baskar saini is telling yes nirmal vasant unconscious unconscious yes opa you will use in unconscious patients don't use in conscious patients why it will it will induce your gag reflex that's why you will not use this in yes yes you are all right yes unconscious patient yes yes you will not yes in seizure patients also you will insert this goodles airway so that the tongue bite is prevented okay so yes mainly they are asking you yes you are going to insert opa in unconscious patients in conscious patients you will avoid it because it will induce gag reflex so next what is this फटाफट गिव मी द आंसर फॉर दिस वॉट इज दिस यस यस बी फास्ट बी फास्ट वॉट इज दिस ट्राई टू आइडेंटिफाई दिस वॉट इज दिस somebody is telling nasal airway nirmal vasant is telling nasal airway chitra is telling nasopharyngeal airway um swati is telling airway i know it is an airway what type of airway is this okay somebody is telling nama venki is telling unconscious patient yes you are right man we use this device this airway in unconscious patients sorry not in unconscious patient we will use this in conscious patients okay this is npa nasopharyngeal airway you can use this in conscious patients okay conscious patients right this is called nasopharyngeal airway so next coming to one more device now tell me what is this tell me what is this device yes very 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 important i think uh, most of your norset papers in all other central government exams they are frequently asking this image yes केस रावनी स्टेलिंग एल एम ए भास्कर सैनी एल एम ए निर्मल वसंत रोहिणी पुनीत डी चित्रा परिमला के शोभा एस यू आर ऑल आंसरिंग इट एस ऑल ऑफ यू आर राइट एक्सलेंट एवरी वन ऑफ यू आर राइट यस इट इज एल एम ए वॉट इज दिस एल एम ए लरिंजल मास्क एयरवे इट इज ए सुप्रा ग्लॉटिक टाइप ऑफ एयरवे ओके रिमेंबर इट इज सुप्रा ग्लॉटिक टाइप ऑफ एयरवे okay right so how to identify it so okay it the end you will see this uh, the like shape of your larynx you can see and uh, it it has a like 
port to inflate also you will inflate laryngeal mask airway you will inflate okay you will inflate like how you will inflate the et tube you will inflate the this tube also to secure okay to secure the tube you will inflate so second one yes 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 you are right rainy siada it's a supra a supraglottic type of airway infraglot is something which you insert into the trachea just below the level of your glottis something anything if you are in, uh, in, inserting into the trachea that becomes your in, infraglottic airway et tube et tube is infraglottic only right subglottic your tracheostomy tube all this will go just okay that all this all in into the trachea right yes yes now tell me what is this yes somebody have answered it okay vinita is telling okay what is this self retractor what is this self retractor nirmal vasant is telling self retractor there is any device called self retractor no there is no, no device called self retractor i want the name of this device chinnu is telling mouth gag samudra is telling mouth gag okay oh okay 50% of your right and any 50% answer some any anybody is going to add anybody is going to add to this answer self retractor jolly somebody is telling mouth gag sunita is telling mouth gag what is this this is called doens mouth gag okay doens mouth gag okay if you want to provide oral hygiene in unconscious patients to open their mouth and to provide for oral toilet yes you will use this and then in ent procedures in few ent procedures you will use this oral in ent procedures you will use this what is the name of this device it is doens mouth gag it is self retaining yes as you people are say telling it is self retaining why it has a ratchet lock here okay ratchet lock okay so next coming to one more important uh, image yes now tell me what is this image what is this image yes yes pandiyam that is a uh, doens mouth gag is a self retaining retractor k shravani is telling igel shiva derisham is telling uh, igel uncurved lma somebody is telling rainy siadav is telling uncurved laryngeal mask airway okay uh, k shobha igel p samudra igel okay somebody is okay let me see how many members are going to give correct answer for this nirmal vasant igel vinita igel satish kadiyam lma no no this is not lma and the people who have answered it yes all of you are right who are, whoever is answering igel okay this is called igel airway this is also similar to your lma but this is like apple pro max version of your lma okay pro max version of your laryngeal mask airway okay see see the laryngeal mask airway, lma you have a bulb like you have to port to inflate here but in igel not, no no need to inflate okay just you will open and insert that's it okay you will not inflate okay so this is like pro max version of your L, lm right okay right this is called igel airway right this is also a supraglottic type of airway okay supraglottic type of airway so coming to the next now tell me what is this what is this which you are seeing here yes what is the device which is which you are seeing here something a uh, monitor is there and there is something blade which is kept beside to that okay endoscopy a uh, video assisted laryngoscope somebody what uh, let me see video assisted laryngoscope okay hmm laryngoscopy video laryngoscopy yes uh, but whoever is answering endoscope how 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 you are answer becomes endoscopy for this no is there any endoscope see a curved blade here it is like your laryngoscope blade right Macin macintosh blade and there is a monitor think of video laryngoscopy okay this is video laryngoscope which we call it as cmac okay 
which we call it as CMAC. They will not give you video laryngoscope in the option. They will give CMAC. So kindly select CMAC for this. Okay, this is video laryngoscopy, which we, which will be very very useful in in the cases like difficulty intubation. Okay, in that very easily ET tube can be inserted by this CMAC technique. Right. So now, what is this? Now all of my future nursing officers are going to give answer for this. What is this? This is the question that you will get in your NARSET 2023 exam. Now you are going to answer what is this? Again see properly from top to bottom and answer what is this? Don't tell me this is an endoscope, bronchoscope. Okay. Uh, Siva Dirishram is telling digital laryngoscope. Let me see. Let me see video assisted laryngoscope, monitor, CMAC. No, this is not CMAC. Okay. Nikita. This is not CMAC. The previous image was CMAC. Punit D CMAC. <laughs> Digital laryngoscope. Okay. Swati is selling uh, card cutting scissors. Some. Okay. Sunita with uh, image scissors laga gan be some na. Okay. Ekkadu nai scissors ekkada. There is something monitor and you have one more blade here like your laryngoscope, Macintosh blade and handle also you have. Think of video laryngoscope and something related to that. Okay, this is called as the previous one is CMAC. Okay, where the monitor will be attached separately and you will be handling the laryngoscope. But see here, monitor is also attached to the same structure itself. Everything has a single structure. Right, this is MacGrath. Okay, this is called MacGrath video laryngoscope video laryngoscope okay right <laughs> no no what is this from where you are answering all these questions mastoid self retaining retractor oh this is called mcgrath video laryngoscope okay the monitor also will be attached to the handle itself very very uh, ultra pro max version this is this you can say it as ultra pro max version okay of your laryngoscope okay so now i think all of you will answer this Please don't give me wrong answer for this. Yes, tell me what is this? Uncurved ET tube. Puneet D, very fast. Yes, excellent Puneet D, you are right. It's a curved ET tube. Okay, everyone, no, I know, I know, I know. Everyone of you are going to answer. Wait for my question. Wait for my question. Okay, right. So, okay. This is ET tube. Okay, some uh, this also I will answer. What is this? Okay, what is this? Yes, this this also people will answer. Yes, within second you will answer. But just wait for my question. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Nirmal Vasant is telling uncurved ET. Yes, this is uncurved ET. You are all right. This is uncurved ET tube. Okay, right. Okay, yes, yes. You are all right. Uncurved ET tube. Just wait for my question. That easily Northside people will ask, will not ask you the questions. Okay, let me see. Okay, now tell me what is. Okay, first question you are going to tell me. Okay, uh, size of ET tube in an average adult male. Okay. Answer the first question. Size of ET tube in an average adult male. Still my question is pending. These are not my questions. Yes, wait for a little bit. I'll ask you my questions related to ET tube. Now answer this. The basic questions which the, uh, pre in previous years they've asked. Okay, somebody is telling uh, uh, Kesh Ravani 7.5. David, it is... No, no, okay, it is... Okay, it is 8 to 8.5 mm in average male adult. But if you want to select any one option, select 8. Okay, right. So next, size of ET tube in an average adult female is 7. Okay, how you will write female? Female starts with the letter F. Okay, F you will write like this. So opposite, write like this. Okay, that is 7. 7 mm. 7 to 7.5 mm you will use in case of females okay 
again select 7 if you want to select any one single option right okay now coming to my question I, I, I told you right my question okay this is my question in children how do you select 82 now uh, you want to there is an 8 year old child okay listen to my question properly and answer there is an 8 year old child okay and now she got respiratory distress and immediately you have to intubate her right what size ET tube curve the ET tube now doctor said okay the uh, uh, in, okay the physician said to take curved ET tube and come for this 8 years old child okay tell me what yes tell me what size you will go and bring from the emergency trolley curved ET tube you want to insert most of in children like in babies will go with uh, uncurved but in uh, some older children will go with this curved only right however you want you okay how it is Parimala is telling age in year divided by 4 okay so if you want okay so if you want to okay how we will select ET tube depending upon the age is that we will use a formula for that okay age in years divided by 4 plus 4 sorry 3.5 for curved this is for curved ET tube okay and for uncurved ET tube it is age in years divided by 4 plus 4 okay always curved go with little bit lesser size okay curved one okay because something it is going to exert pressure on trachea right something you have to take care okay so always curved 1.5 less lesser size you will select and uncurved yes it is this formulas you have to use now based on this formula tell me 8 okay age in years divided by 4 this is a curved ET tube which formula I should use the first one this one right age divided by 4 plus 3.5 so 8 divided by 4 plus 3.5 2 zero plus okay this is 5.5 mm right am i correct with my maths i am poor in maths please correct me yes whomever is answering 5.5 mm all of you are right okay this is how you will select the et tube size in children i think very recently aims had asked this question kindly take kindly watch this once again note these formulas okay in curved curved how you will select in curved age divided by age in years divided by 4 plus 3.5 is for curved ET tube or for uncurved ET tube age in years divided by 4 plus 4 kindly see the question whether they are asking you whether they are asking you curved ET tube or uncurved ET tube and apply the formula and you will get the answer okay so this is very very recently also in NASA yes yes somebody is telling Samudra is telling NASA 22 2022 first shift question yes very very important okay right so next now tell me what is this what is this device which I am showing here <coughs> Puneet D, very fast, excellent Puneet D, P Samudra, HME filter, HME filter, Nirmal Vasant filter, what type of filter? Yes, Suresh Rathod, HME filter, K, uh, Sramani, Rohini, HME filter, uh, Nirmal Vasant, HME filter, P Samudra, HME filter, Priyanka Reddy, yes, all of you are right, this is HME filter, okay will connect with this with ET circuit okay why what is the use of this HME what is HME heat moist exchanger heat moist exchanger okay exchange filter okay it also has a filter that means it will okay what are the advantages with this it will filter all the microbial organisms it has a filter in it right and heat and moist exchanger that means it will give whatever the patient is inspiring the air it will provide warm and humidified air to the patient that is the use of this HME filter okay right next coming to the another question what is this see the arrow mark 
and answer what is this device what they, which they are asking yes be fast yes what is this Cuff manometer, goniometer, somebody is telling okay. K. Shravani cuff manometer, David cuff manometer. Punit D, what is that? Punit D is given very short, like what, what I should take it as? K. Shobha ma'am, yes, cuff pressure monitor, yes. This is called cuff manometer. Okay, cuff manometer. Okay, right? Uh, so what is a normal cuff pressure it should be ET tube and in curved ET tube curved TT tube you, you have to measure the pressure okay you have to measure the pressure what should be the normal pressure cuff pressure okay tell me can anyone tell me what handheld manometers okay this is cuff manometer to pressure to measure the pressure in the ET tubes and TT tubes okay cuff what is the normal cuff pressure what should be the normal cuff pressure it is yes can anyone tell me it is 20 to 30 centimeters h2o this is the normal cuff pressure it should be okay it is 20 to 30 centimeters h2o right okay so coming to next question right so now tell me what what is this device be fast be fast in answering image based questions very fast quickly you have to answer in the Northset exam so that's how we will save your time so be fast my dear future nursing officers yes what is this device which you are seeing Punit D very fast again thermovent yes Punit D seat is waiting in for you in Ames okay so second what is the next any other answers better answers let me see ultrasonic nebulizer where is the nebulizer here Priyanka madam where is nebulizer here is this appearing as a nebulizer uh, Vinita madam is telling thermovent David thermovent case Raveni thermovent yes it is thermovent pneumovent track vent everyone will give okay there are many names for this yes you can call it simply as track vent or thermovent okay okay same what is the advantage with this same it is like hme filter for you how we use hme filter in et intubated clients okay in tt tube who, who okay after weaning off okay sorry a tt ever i tt in, uh, intubation loan or mechanical ventilator connector in our okay sorry wean wean off chase in the ventilator in inchi tracheostomy chase uh, tracheostomy patients low E track when we insert this okay a tracheostomy tube key okay we have to insert this uh, this track vent to that tt tube okay so that foreign particles doesn't enter into the tube and same it it has all other functions how your hme works similarly this also works okay right and it also has one port for suctioning you can open this and do suctioning okay no need to remove this device and do su tt suctioning okay this has one port for suctioning and one more port you are seeing what is this port yes this is for o2 okay you can connect whenever the patient requires oxygen you can directly connect to this oxygen okay right so next next yes yes Yes, tell me what is the condition associated with the following image they are asking you yes condition associated with the following image somebody is telling cirrhosis of liver nirmal vasant is telling pulmon pulmonary edema some clue also I have given here see see the see the image properly and then answer yes 
Ramesh, yeah, okay. Let me see how many members are going to give right answer. Karuna is answering cirrhosis of liver. Somebody is feeling liver cirrhosis. P. Samudra, liver cirrhosis. Sir, no clarity picture. Okay, something. No clarity in the pictures. Okay, I have, I have zoomed, zoomed it. So, see and answer. What is this? I have given you a clue also. Okay, so now you are going to answer this condition associated with this very very easy i think the people who have studied um, surgery can answer this it is not liver cirrhosis i am telling you okay it is not liver cirrhosis cirrhosis do you get any collections like this entire your cirro liver mottam fibrotic tissue ne untundi per second untundi cirrhosis lo no no it is not liver cirrhosis okay cirrhosis is nothing but fibrosis in liver where do you get collections no what is this blood culture ankovisas you will do blood culture with that <laughs> somebody is yes manikanta some finally i got the answer yes thank you so much this is ankovisas ankovisas first where do you see there is a kidney tray containing brown chocolate brown pulse where do you see chocolate brown pulse okay I have attached anchovy sauce also. Anchovy sauce first, where do you study? Very, very important question for your NORSET exam. Do write, write it and keep it. Yes, amoebic liver abscess. Okay, in amoebic liver abscess, okay, if you aspirate the pus, you will get chocolate brown pus, which is also called as anchovy sauce pus. Okay, anchovy sauce pus. Okay. You will see that in case of amoebic liver abscess. Okay, right. So now, since chocolate, I told it. Yes, there is a me chocolate here. Yes, something in our medicine. There are few questions related to chocolate. I'll discuss that. Okay, right. Okay, chocolate cyst. Where you are going to study endometriosis, right? And chocolate brown liver, in which condition you will see chocolate brown liver? Yes, it is in hemochromatosis. Where do you see chocolate chocolate colored blood? Entire blood in the body becomes short chocolate colored. Where do you see that? Methemoglobinemia. Methemoglobinemia. Right? Very, very important one-liners. Try to write it in your BER notes. And where do you see chocolate brown pus? Just now I told you. This is chocolate brown pus. Where do you see in case of amoebic liver abscess? Amoebic liver abscess. Okay. Do remember this. Questions on chocolate? Yes. If your examiner is funny, yes, they'll ask you these questions. Right. So next. What is A? What is B? I think everyone will answer. This was very, very easy questions only. Nothing to worry here. Yes. Can anyone tell me? Yes. Cautery, cautery, cautery. I know this is cautery. Tell me what type of cautery. A, what is B, what is that? Monopolar cautery, bipolar cautery. Yes. Sangeeta, Ash, yes. Is telling Priyanka M is telling monopolar cautery, bipolar cautery, Kesh Ravani, Harika, Keshoba, Suresh Rathod. Yes, all of you are excellent. Yes, you are right. Option A is monopolar cautery. Okay, where it, it is like single, like your pen, right? So that is monopolar. Okay, and see, there are two, like it's like prongs, right? So, yes, this is bipolar cautery, right? So now, what is this? I think very recently they have asked this question also in your Norset exam. What is this device which you are seeing? Right? Can anyone tell me what is this? Can anyone help me? To, to select the right answer, in, right? So be fast, be quick. What is this? What is this image which you are seeing here? Very, very important images we are discussing now. Please do take screenshots, save it in your image library and revise it. Okay. Okay. We have very less time. Okay. So try to attend all MCQ discussions wherever it is, live discussions wherever it is. Try to attend and make one liners. That is going to help and make lot of ch changes in this last minute. 
ओके राइट स्टेपलर हार्मोनिक स्टेपलर स्टेपलर ये टेल मी एनी बेटर आंसर्स विल आई गेट मोनोपोलर लाइक लाइक अर हैंड प्रोब टेल मी टेल मी टेल मी लाइक अर दिस इज लाइक अर ओके this is yes harmonic scalpel okay what is this harmonic scalpel okay yes yes metal suture remover no 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 it's not suture remover device it is harmonic scalpel similar to like your cautery okay cautery ela ite work chestundo similar ga alage ee harmonic scalpel kuda work chestundi cut and coagulation okay it will cut okay if you want to make any precise cuts okay it will give precise cuts this is called harmonic scalpel and whereas in your cautery like in monopolar cautery if you want to coagulate if any artery is bleeding during surgery okay if you want to coagulate it it will produce heat but here in this the advantage is it will coagulate without heat production okay that is the advantage with harmonic scalpel okay right this is not copper tea this is cut okay don't take it as copper tea okay cut it will make a precise cut similar like your cautery and it can coagulate also okay without heat production that that is the one which you have to remember with this harmonic scalpel right next coming to one more important image yes rohini had given the answer it is harmonic scalpel and priyanka m suresh rathod yes all of you are right it is harmonic scalpel now coming to one more important uh, image what is this yes what is this can anyone tell me what is this t tube okay shiva is telling it as t tube any nice any good answers any good answers rupa sri t tube k shravani t tube vinitha t tube okay okay Ma mariam t tube okay any better answers any 100% can anyone give this like this is the thing okay see see the device here okay all of you are right it is a t tube see the device here it is transparent that means it is made up of silicon right okay and yes what is the name of this t tube called kurs t tube right total name you have to remember okay kurs silicon t tube okay because you have latex tube also that's why i'm giving okay latex tube also t tube it both we have latex tubes and silicon tubes okay if it is transparent it is silicon okay right this is okay full answer will be kurs silicon t tube okay right i'll tell you when okay so eppudu kuda manam full answer chadukovali i'll tell you why i'll tell you why i'll give you an example also wait for a minute okay what is this device which you are seeing here can anyone help me okay i am zoom, zooming this image <coughs> let me see how many members are going to give correct answer for this punit d very fast central venous catheter okay okay very good punit d yes any other answers dialysis sheath okay some any better answers better answers central venous catheter double lumen catheter okay what type of double lumen catheter should i think it as foley's should i think it as ng tube what what cvp somebody is telling central venous pressure okay has i got the answer manikanta yes you won the prize okay yes manikanta won the prize manikanta is good, right and somebody told central venous catheter and all yes you people are wrong this is called hickman line very very, very nice manikanta very nice this is called hickman line which is also called as tunneled catheter okay tunneled cath okay okay see here have you seen central line i'll show you central line okay how the central line will appear this is not central line this is called hickman line kindly take a screenshot and save this okay where do we use if you want to give tpn total parenteral nutrition for long time 
okay for long time yes you will go with hickman line and one more in advantage with this hickman line is okay in central venous catheter why why we don't usually insert central venous catheter there is increased chances of sepsis right but with this hickman line since you want to use it for long time yes it will have less possibility with this hickman line there is less possibility for sepsis okay the, that are these are the advantages of this hickman line okay right so immediately don't answer okay try to see observe it carefully so see the tip here how the tip is there and something is there here central line do you see like this no i'll show you how central line will be this is the central line okay see now compare both the images okay see the tip here this is the tip okay see the tip of the central line you will suture it and it has triple lumen yes double lumen central vein venous catheter is also available but that is hickman catheter the previous image but this one is your cvc central venous catheter okay right right it has okay three lumens okay three ports okay it is a triple lumen central venous catheter okay right so since central venous catheter is very very important i want to discuss few important one liners now you will ask me why there are three ports what are the uses with each yes, i'll tell you okay so there are three lumens right okay there is <clears throat> distal lumen median lumen proximal lumen in distal lumen what you are going to do is you will distal lumen very very important please take notes okay i want all of you to take notes on central venous catheter questions are going to come from this topic right very very important topic for all central government exams okay so for distal lumen okay distal lumen what is used with that to monitor cvp okay and median it is for tpn and proximal is for sampling okay the three lumens are there there are three different uses distal for cvp monitoring central venous pressure monitoring median for giving tpn total parenteral nutrition right and proximal is for sampling okay right or even for administering iv fluids you can use your proximal lumen for ivf okay next second one can anyone tell me what is the second normal cvp pressure normal cvp pressure normal cvp pressure divya sorry siva is telling 2 to 6 mm of hg <coughs> yes yes shobha ma'am you are right proximal is for sampling and iv fluids okay then uh, manikanta uh, yes i'll tell you okay now tell me what is 3 to 8 no it is wrong 2 to 8 it is wrong 8 to 15 no see so, normal cvp 2 to 6 mm of hg if you want to answer in centimeters of h2o yes okay this can be there in your option you can select this or 5 to 10 centimeters h2o can be there both are same both are right okay right so anything if you find in the answer select that one okay right right this is your normal cvp now coming to the best site for cvc insertion can anyone tell me uh, can anyone tell me best site for cvc insertion tell me yes best site for cvc insertion jugular somebody is telling jugular right jugular right internal jugular best site see the question and then answer they are asking you the best site best site will be always subclavian vein subclavian vein okay it is not internal jugular now for fourth question what is the answer which you will give let me see most common site for cvc insertion okay which is the most common vein that you will select for cvc insertion yes be fast 
jugular vein yes can you specify specify the vein yes somebody is telling it is internal jugular vein yes who yes you are right it is ijv most commonly you will go with ijv okay best will be your subclavian vein most common site for cvc insertion is your internal jugular vein okay right and next uh, next fifth question let let me see who, who will give the right answer for this site for cvc insertion in acute trauma patients okay let me see who will give the better answer for this fifth one now answer for fifth one ram yadav is telling subclavian vein in trauma patients acute trauma who had trauma and came to you and you want to insert a central line which approach will be the best at that time yes suresh rathod femoral david is telling femoral yes any other answers ram yadav is telling subclavian suresh rathod femoral yes he had locked his answer suresh rathod yes priyanka reddy femoral yes who are telling femoral you are all right it is femoral vein okay obviously don't write it as artery okay cvc is inserted into the vein okay right but usually femoral vein we don't prefer it why can anyone tell me why why because there is increased chances of sepsis so that's why femoral vein is usually avoided okay right so now answer the sixth question most common central venous catheter size used in adults yes 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 you are right suresh rathod there with femoral approach there is increased chances of sepsis so that's why completely try to avoid femoral approach okay it's best to go with your ijv okay right tell me what is this best si uh, sorry most common sixth question try to answer sixth question most common cvc size they are asking you size used in adults very very good suresh rathod yes you are right it is 7 7 french okay okay remember most common cvc size used in adults it is 7 french okay next coming to best site for providing tpn okay which vein you will select yes rohini you are right it is 7 french suresh rathod yes you are right it is 7 french now tell me the seventh question best site okay i am not asking you the lumen here okay i am asking you which vein approach will be best for providing tpn whether it is internal jugular subclavian femoral which will be the best site tell me be fast subclavian siva is telling subclavian rohini is telling ijv Varinda is telling subclavian. David is telling subclavian. Punit D I J V. Some any right. So whoever is answering I J V is wrong. Always they are asking you best site again. Best always best is subclavian vein. Okay. Subclavian vein for providing T P N. Subclavian vein is the best. Okay. Now eighth question. Okay. Okay eighth question. follow dash before using every time okay fill in the blank this is not mcq or something one liner i am asking you fill in the blank okay follow dash before using cvc every time using cvc before use as a nursing officer what you have to do before using the central venous ports every time for example you have to inject a medicine okay or you want to connect to tpn or you want to connect to iv fluids what you will do shobha ma'am is telling flush okay rohini is telling back flow of the blood you need to check back flow of the blood okay any better answers check for black flow let me see who is going to give right answer for this let me see who is going to give right answer for this one important step you will follow to prevent klebsi what is that 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 is the answer here hand wash okay hand washing okay hand washing obviously will do okay uh, flush the line before and after using 
ओके आई एम आस्किंग यू राइट डायरेक्टली आस्किंग यू क्वेश्चन ओके एज ए नर्सिंग ऑफिसर यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिवेंट क्लैपसी दैट इज द मेन थिंग यू विल हैव इन योर माइंड सो वॉट यू विल डू वॉट यू विल फॉलो बिफोर यूजिंग सी वी सी एवरी टाइम टू प्रिवेंट इन्फेक्शंस डोंट आंसर मी ऑल दिस हैंड वॉशिंग ओके हैंड रब सैनिटाइजर नथिंग देर इज समथिंग स्पेशल लेट मी सी हू इज गोइंग टू Yes, some yes. Punit D has answered it fifty percent. Very nice, Punit. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, Kusuma is telling clean the hub. Okay. Yes. What is that? Cleaning the hub is called as scrub the hub. Okay. Scrub the hub. Okay. Very very important stuff. As a nursing officer, you have to remember this stuff. Okay. So whenever you disconnect and want to inject anything or want to connect anything every time you have to clean the uh, uh, that port central venous port with the 70% alcohol swabs you will be getting right with that you have you have to scrub that is called scrub the hub okay very very important next answer the ninth one obviously you will flush okay something to prevent infection okay that is scrub the hub very very important to prevent clepsy okay now tell me best way to confirm the placement of cvc be fast be fast best way to confirm the placement of cvc so uh, yes chinu is telling x ray manasa is telling x ray nirmal basant x ray okay any other answers any other okay all of you are right x ray okay okay so for all the lines not only for central venous catheter for all the lines mostly all of the lines if you want to confirm it go with x ray okay go with x ray right so next next answer the 10th question most dangerous complication associated while you are inserting central venous catheter is the question okay see the question and answer most dangerous complication associated with central venous catheter insertion air embolism siva is telling pneumothorax okay manikanta is telling pneumothorax yes please answer the 10th question suresh now we are coming to 10th manasa is telling arrhythmias okay brinda is telling pneumothorax okay no 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 dangerous clepsy is not dangerous okay dangerous complication associated with central venous line insertion when you are inserting central venous catheter what is okay it is not da most dangerous if they are asking you answer pneumothorax okay that is the most dangerous complication while you are uh, inserting central venous catheter but if they are asking you most common complication most common complication with central venous catheter then your answer will be clepsy okay right most common complication is clepsy with central lines but most dangerous complication will be pneumothorax mainly in subclavian approach okay subclavian vein when you are inserting yes there are higher chances of pneumothorax that's why you will avoid most commonly we which we use is internal jugular right next coming to this 11th question answer please 11th question how often central line tegardum dressing need to be changed please okay please answer this any bet okay be fast how often central line tegardum dressing need to be changed punit d 7 days nirmal vasant after 7 days or as soon as it is soiled okay priyanka reddy 7 days somebody is telling 5 days 7 days 5 days 7 days both of you are right who is answering 5 7 so in, okay every 5 to 7 days you will change the tegardum dressing okay or whenever it is soiled whenever it is soiled immediately you will change the tegardum dressing okay whenever there is bled okay all that stuff attached to your tegardum yes you will immediately change the tegardum dressing okay right your answer will be 5 to 7 days once you have to change tegardum dressing right so next coming to 
yes i think we have completed with this uh, center line okay very very important one liners all of these are very 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 important okay try to make notes okay next coming to yes what is this i think during my norset examination this was an image based question okay what is this let me see who will give the right answer i'm zooming this yes please all my future nursing officers are going to give, tell me the right answer for this nirmal vasant is telling rails tube rails tube any better answers please my dears my dears please observe the tube carefully and answer give me the right observe the tube observe the tube carefully observe the images and you should answer okay yes now i got the answer siva yes you got the first first prize okay infant feeding tube this is called infant feeding tube okay okay obviously ng tube also used for feeding but this is not ng tube how how i can say that is how i can i am saying that this is not an ng tube okay what is the difference between infant feeding tube and ng tube i'll tell you okay okay this is your ng tube see here this is your ng tube i'll show you this is your ng tube okay see compare both the tubes okay in ng tube you can see something right markings you are seeing right here and there at 60 cm at 40 cm you will have markings okay but in this tube can you find any single marking also is not there right no markings at all right no markings okay markings are present in ng tube this is how you will differentiate between your rails tube and infant feeding tube okay very very important so this is this is how the questions will be in norset it will appear easy gane undi an anukuntam so wrong option bette chustam so ide jarugutundi norset exam lo so observe the image carefully and answer your select the best option and come okay right so the, whomever is answer ng tube all of you got zero right how you will differentiate ng tube from infant feeding tube is by markings okay one more one more also i'll tell you and the tip of the ng tube you can find some uh, metal like bubbles you will find okay if you see uh, okay if you see this you cannot find here in the tip you cannot find in the ng tube okay which we call it as shorts i think so i think they yes it is called as shorts shorts are absent in uh, infant feeding tube okay very very important this is my norset question okay okay right so next coming to the another question okay right what is this what is this again please observe carefully image and then answer i will zoom if you want obviously not set exam you cannot zoom images okay try to pick up with few clues okay right okay yes be fast my dear future aims nursing officers yes be quick right what is this yamini rules tube what is this sing second tube okay let me see how many who, who will give the right answer in what way this is appearing as sbt for you all tell me any balloon for this sing second black mode tube what will be there my dears my dear future nursing officers somebody is telling levin tube okay answer whatever you want your answer let me pick my right option who is going to get who it, who, uh, who is going to get 1000 rupees from me i'll see who will answer yes okay okay kalyani is telling something okay harika is telling okay who will get get the first gift from me let me see okay i think kalyani got it okay very nice kalyani banot you are right it is called swan gans ketata okay swan gans ketata for right heart catheterization we'll use this right this is not suction catheter my dear harika okay uh, yes uh, this is okay central lines will not have four lumens okay right okay there is a thermistor here observe this there is thermistor also right and uh, yes this is swan gans catheter okay 
four lines okay central lines will obviously will not have four ports okay one two three four ports and thermistor port is there right what what is this van gans catheter right heart catheterization okay right yes this is called swan gans catheter useful used to get right heart catheterization okay right next obviously what is a what is option b <clears throat> now tell me what are this yes obviously the people who are, who are yes brinda is yes, swan gans catheter it is swan gans catheter now come to the another slide and answer this what is option a what is option b don't tell me rails tube okay right what is this very commonly i think all of you know this yes big wicking uh, yes three way catheter what catheter madam three way catheter what type of catheter keshuba sbt no why Ag what is this triple lumen rubber catheter follis catheter let me say, okay only follis catheter okay 50 percent nirmal vasant your answer is correct follis catheter is okay okay silicon follis who is whoever is answering okay you are correct but give me full answer i'll tell you why eppudu kuda full chadive tappudu eppudu eppudu aina sare dan full name telusukovali okay other names evaina unte telusukovali dan full name telusukovali enduku ani cheptanu enduku important ane cheptanu okay fall is catheter let me see how many who will give the that what i am expecting whenever you study try to study full name okay with all the details okay so 50% of every one of you are giving the right answer okay 90% you are right but 10% is left what is that 10% let me add okay fall is this is a fall is three way follis catheter self retaining catheter please give it a full name follis self retain retaining catheter that should be your option why i will tell you Five, self retaining catheter in my norset exam itself they have showed they have shown a in, like uh, they have shown in uh, red rubber catheter something like that okay and ask okay uh, they have asked you they have asked us which is the self retaining tube okay they have asked us which is a self retaining tube option 1 red rubber catheter option b rt your rail tube option c your follis catheter option d your uh, nelatens catheter these are the options they have given okay so self retaining catheter mostly chaala mandi aithe chadavukunte just follis ani andarki telusuntundi kan dan evaru books lo aithe chadavundaru kada so right so eppudaina chadave tappudu books lo images ki full name telusukoni aithe ellandi okay in many ways questions can can be asked okay right so this is a follis self retaining catheter which is a three way catheter yes since yes this is made up of latex this is a latex follis catheter yes see the option b it is transparent okay it is transparent okay always when it is transparent think of silicon tube this is silicon three way follis okay Ret self retaining catheter okay right yes now why three why three ports can anyone tell me why why three ports this one is for inflation balloon inflation and the middle is one for drainage okay and this one is for bladder irrigation okay very very important okay so now coming to the important thing yes which solution is used to inflate follis balloon can anyone answer this my dear future nursing officers be fast which solution is used to inflate follis balloon what you will use normal saline nirmal vasant excellent normal saline somebody give me no no not for irrigation for inflating the balloon to inflate follis balloon they have asked you see the question properly distilled water somebody is telling priyanka ns priyanka reddy distilled water punith the sterile water okay 
see let me see yes it is whomever is answering ns you're wrong okay we don't use any crystalloid solution to inflate the foley's balloon okay it is sterile water or distilled water okay it's best okay to in okay because why when you inflate the foley's balloon okay with the normal saline okay what it will crystallize it is a crystalloid right it will crystallize and it will it can burst the balloon can burst and irritate the bladder and the bladder can bleed okay that that, that is why never inflate with normal saline always inflate the foley's balloon with distilled water 10 ml of distilled water okay right next yes all of you are right chaitanya and you could yes any all of you are right 10 ml is 10 ml distilled water is the right okay now tell me what is the most common second one most common used size in males Tell me, Manasa is selling 16, okay, in option you should select only, only one, okay, most commonly used folly size in males, it is 16 French, okay, whereas most commonly used size in females is 14 French, okay, in females one size lesser, okay, right, okay. Can anyone tell me 16 French what color it is? Okay, 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 you are right. 14, 16, right? Now tell me 16 French what color it is. <coughs> yes, Nirmal Vasant is right, it is orange. Okay, right now 14 French which color it is? 14 French. 14 French which color it is? Yes, be fast. Green. Somebody told green. Vinita said yes, it is green color. Okay. Okay. Yes, God created. Yes, obviously. Yes, God created police catheter. It's green. Okay. Yes, very nice. Who is answering green? Yes, you are all good. Okay. Yes, what is this? My dear future nursing officers, please answer this. What is this? Something different. Don't answer again for NG tube. Okay, Polly's tube. Okay, this is something different. Observe carefully. I'm zooming this and now answer this. Huh. Somebody is telling uh, Punit D. Malikot, uh, Nirmal Vasant Malikot, Kalyani Banot Malikot. Some of, okay, all of you are right. Yes, see the tip of this. It is flower shaped right flower shaped right so think of malicots yes you are all right this is malicots catheter what is the use of this malicots catheter to drain any abscess okay the, i have already told you right in my previous slide maybe liver abscess to drain that liver abscess also we can use this malicots catheter okay you can use it as okay after to drain urine after percutaneous nephrostomy okay okay to drain abscess okay right even this can be used as icd okay icd intercostal drainage tube you can use this okay next coming to what is this something different image i think the persons who are wor working in oncology unit will be answering first can anyone tell me what is this uh kalyani banoth excellent Yes, please give me the right answer. Yes, let me see who is going to give. Um, Punit D. Chemoport, Vinita Chemoport, Samudra Chemoport. Yes, Nirmal Basant. Yes, you are all right. It is Chemoport. Okay. Okay. See the tip here. Okay. It is a self-sealing. Okay. It is self-sealing. Okay. You can directly inject your medication, your chemotherapy drugs directly into that. Okay. Directly you can inject. Okay. So, okay. This tip will be in the subclavian vein or uh, internal jugular vein okay see the uh, this one okay 
through this you will administer the medication directly you can inject into that okay it, yes yes okay thank you god created yes okay thank you so nice to uh, uh, see that okay you are working in oncology unit okay yes that is self sealing once you inject chemotherapy drugs it will get self sealed okay right okay it can be kept for longer time do remember this chemo ports okay used for on onco patients to give chemotherapy drugs this can be kept for longer time okay for even 1 to 2 years you can use this uh, chemo ports okay longer duration you can keep this chemo ports now coming to another uh, another important image now tell me what is this image yes for longer time you can place that now tell me what is this uh, rohini selling hemovac kalyani romovac birinda romovac romovac negative pressure drain excellent yes uh, punit d please see it properly and answer it is not jp drain okay what is this it has multiple corrugation c one okay it has multiple foldings and it is little bit larger big one what is this romovac used in abdominal surgeries okay yes yes it is closed drainage system very good it is a closed type uh, type of drainage system yes uh, and it works under negative pressure okay very very important so next coming to this now punit should answer for this it is yes it is like bulb shape like it is a bulb right what is this yes you are all right yes ashita yes complete it complete it okay yes all of you are right priyanka kalyani samudra yes this is jackson pratt drain okay for minimal collections okay to drain minimal abscess and all minimal collections and all you can use this uh, jp drain for minimal collections okay any abdominal abscess or any collections you can use this okay the capacity of jp drain is less okay compared to romovac this is called jackson's pratt drain okay next what is this what is this yes all of you are right excellent whomever is answering J jp drain yes jp drain also works under negative pressure okay jp drain also works under negative pressure yes okay it is a type of closed system of drainage okay now colgate somebody is answering colgate okay nirmal vasant chest tube observe it carefully and answer this okay i have zoomed it like anything somebody is telling chest tube okay let me see yes be fast be fast k shravani chest tube okay any any anything see what it is chest tube in the sense i think you people are uh, thinking of icd this is not icd okay what is this this is called corrugated drain corrugated drain okay it has multiple folding c okay okay corrugated drain this is open type of system okay open drainage system okay to drain any abscess okay right if there is any abscess over your abdomen if you want to drain this you can use this okay you can drain your abscess through this corrugated drain okay this is a type of open type of drainage system okay open type that means there are increased chances of infection increased chances of infection okay so you cannot keep for longer time you have to remove it within days you have to remove this corrugated drain okay okay this is a type of open drain okay this is called corrugated drain so coming to next question now tell me what is this yes tell me what is this yes yes sirisha i have already told you for any abscess to drain 
okay you can use this corrugated drain that is okay it has multiple corrugations and through corrugations the abscess will drain okay a person is drain out on the okay are the okay since it's a type of open type of drainage uh, system you will not keep for longer days within 72 hours okay you have to remove that tube okay otherwise just now i told you right there is increased chances of infection with corrugated tube because it's a open kind of drain okay yes you are all right P punit d is telling pigtail pigtail okay k shubha pigtail k strani pigtail all of you are right okay all of you are right excellent this is a pigtail okay so what is the shape see the tube in the shape of p so p for pigtail catheter okay so again pigtail catheter is used for drainage of abscesses abscess okay right now i think this is asked in narset 2020 exam okay very very right very very important device now let me see what is this instrument yes what is this excellent nirmal vasant circle kalyani banu circular stapler yes this is a circular stapler okay yes ranjita it is a circular stapler used for what is the use of this for end to end anastomosis end to end anastomosis of bowel okay end to end uh, anastomosis you will use this stapler circular stapler okay even in hemorrhoidopexy you can use this okay right stapler hemorrhoidopexy we have right so that during uh, in that procedure also this is used and now now tell me what is this i think you people have answered this previously now yes now yes nirmal vasant is telling sb tube priyanka sb tube right let me see yes 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 now manikanta berinda yes priyanka i am all of your right yes this is Seng second Blackmore tube. Okay. SBT. Okay. Yes. How to identify it? How, how, it, how to identify it? It will have two balloons. Okay. This one is your gastric balloon. And this one is your esophageal balloon. Okay. Right. Right. And you, if you see the tip. See the tip carefully, it has openings. Why? For aspiration. Aspiration of the contents. Okay. Aspiration. It will it has multiple ports. Okay. Small small openings. Right? Okay. So now. Now uh, see gastric balloon. Gastric balloon very important. You will how you will inflate it? ns distilled water air which you will use air okay 300 ml air you will use to inflate the gastric balloon and for esophageal okay you will okay the pressure should be 40 mm of hg okay for esophagus how much air you will inflate is the pressure the air that pressure should not exit more ex, uh, exceed more than 40 mm of hg okay and esophageal uh, uh, esophageal balloon you will deflate it okay every 12 hourly q 12 hourly you will deflate it okay okay because it will pressurize the esophagus can cause okay uh, esophageal damage so to avoid that you will deflate it and reinflate it okay every 12 hourly okay this is called Seng's second Blackmore tube. Okay, SBT. Okay, used in where do we use this? I forgot forgotten to tell this uh, uses in variceal bleed. Okay, variceal bleed. This is used. Okay. And now my next question will be: What is the drug of choice for variceal bleed? What is the drug of choice for variceal bleed? Can anyone fastly tell me? Can anyone fastly tell me what is the drug of choice for variceal bleed? Yes, esophageal varices. Tell me. 
ऑक्टरियोटाइड एक्सेलेंट ट्रैनिक्जेमिक एसिड ड्रग ऑफ चॉइस इज ट्रैनिक्जेमिक एसिड प्रियंका राम यादव इज रॉन्ग ओके प्रमीला इज टेलिंग ऑक्टरोटाइड कल्याणी बहनोत ऑक्टरोटाइड केशोबा ट्रैनिक्जामिक एसिड नो ट्रैनिक्जामिक एसिड नो इट इज ऑक्टरोटाइड ओके आई वी ऑक्ट्रियोटाइड ओके बट नाउ लेटेस्ट अपडेट वन मोर ड्रग इज एडेड ओके लेटेस्ट अपडेट इज टर्ली प्रेसिन टर्ली प्रेसिन ओके यू कैन यूज दिस इन वैरसियल ब्लीड ओके इज द लेटेस्ट अपडेट ओके नेक्स्ट वॉट इज दिस आई थिंक वी आर एट द एंड ऑफ द सेशन येस वॉट इज दिस वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नैसल प्रॉन्स एक्सेलेंट पुनित दी निर्मल वसंत यू आर ऑल राइट दिस इज नैसल प्रॉन्स ओके सी द प्रॉन्स हियर येस दिस इज नैसल प्रॉन्स राइट वॉट इज दिस द बेबी स्मॉल न्यू बोर्न बेबी एंड देर इज ए येस वॉट इज दिस how do we administer oxygen in babies what is this o2 hood excellent this is oxygen hood okay next coming to another question what is this can anyone tell me yes be quick in answering okay yes yes o2 hood excellent निर्मल वसंत एन आर बी एम ओके एक्सेलेंट वसंत एक्सेलेंट पुनीत श्रावणी केशोबा एक्स प्रियंका एम यस यू आर ऑल राइट इट इज नॉन रिब्रीथर मास्क कैन यू टेल मी द एफ आई ओ टू इट डेलीवर्स हाउ मच एफ आई ओ टू इट कैन डेलीवर आई थिंक इन प्रीवियस एग्जाम दे हैव आस्क दिस ओके एन आर बी एम हाउ मच एफ आई ओ टू इट कैन डेलीवर यस कैन यू वन टेल मी It it can give FiO2 till 90 percent. Excellent. Till 90 percent FiO2 can be given by NRBM. Okay. Very very nice. What is this? Okay. No, obviously don't tell it as 100 percent. Till till 90 it can give. Okay. Not 100 percent. Okay. Next. What is this device which you are seeing? What is this? Romovex. Sunita, I think you are late to the class. okay come like just forward the session and come to the live okay yes pramila is selling hfnc kalyani hfnc right yes any other answers be quick be quick what is this device north set exam yes image based questions now it's a trend 5 to 10 images you will get in north set exam so you have to attend all the image based uh, discussions Okay, try to take my screenshots and save it in your image library. Priyanka Reddy, HFNC. Any better answers? Any other answers? Yes, you are all right. This is HFNC. Okay, how? See the humidifier here and see again there is nas. Okay, see the tubing, nasal prongs. Yes, what is this? HFNC. Okay, uh, high flow nasal cannula. HFNC means high flow nasal cannula. what is this hfnc yes high flow nasal cannula now coming to what is this what is the name of this don't tell me it is a uh, like face mask there is a name for this right can anyone tell me the name for this O2 mask. Yes, don't tell me O2 mask. There's something name. Simple face mask. Okay, O2 mask. Okay, okay. Excellent, Rohini. Yes, you are right. It is Hudson face mask. Okay. Obviously, option in options they'll give Hudson mask. Okay. Okay. Images. If you, if they are having multiple names, study and go. Okay. It is also called a simple face mask. It is also called as Hudson mask. Okay. simple hudson mask next coming to this okay i think all of you will answer this what is this yes big quick big quick venturi mask excellent punit yes nirmal vasant you are all excellent this is venturi mask okay 
and color codings is very very important kindly take a screenshot of this and please remember blue red green at least okay in previous exam they have asked about on red okay how much uh, liters of oxygen the red color venturi mask can give it can give till 10 10 liters per minute okay okay at least try to remember the o2 flow okay blue okay blue is subse less that is 2 liters per minute green subse jada yes it is 15 liters per minute but remember venturi it can deliver fio2 till 60 percent only okay but just now i told you which can deliver till 90 percent fio2 is your nrbm okay since um, your venturi mask is a high flow device don't answer venturi mask if they are asking you which can deliver till F uh, which uh, low flow device they are asking you answer nrbm okay nrbm non rebreather uh, mask okay right <clears throat> so next what is this what is this device can anyone tell me be fast be quick yes one the answers little bit quick yes excellent david excellent pramila you're all right it is a mucus extractor mucus extractor for example if you want to send a sample in a patient who is intubated okay okay this end this tip you can connect to suction machine okay this you can insert in the et tube and collect the sample in this bottle and then what you will do this how how to process this then you will remove this okay this the entire part you will remove this and then the cap which you have below you will attach it and send this for lab investigation okay that's how you will send it for the uh, sputum analysis or sputum culture something okay right so this is mucus extractor so next coming to what is this what is this obviously yes this is very 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 simple question very very like lollipop question this this will not be asked yes pm go line i know this but what is the dead space of this can anyone tell me see the question what is the dead space they are asking about the dead space dead space of pm go line we are at the end of the session we'll close it okay all the images are very very important ibq discussions again it's very important let me see yes 200 ml rohini what is that 200 what is that pm line yes every one of you are right it is pm line obviously that lollipop question will not come what is the dead space of this it is 2 ml okay 2 cc okay right so next <clears throat> what is this next question coming to this no no it is not 20 ml bargavi pm line it is 20, uh, pm line it is 2 cc okay right high bqs that depends upon the examiner mentality at least 5 to 10 mcqs you will get ibqs 5 to 10 you can get uh, okay right so now <clears throat> now tell me what is this yes you are all right this is a icd that is chest tube okay chest tube yes you are all right that icd tube yes now tell me my question will be where you will insert this icd tube site of insertion tell me site of insertion very very important mcq write and keep this in a red pen okay tell me site of insertion let me see who will give this fifth intercostal space punidhi is telling any specific area can you mention okay it is anterior axillary mid axillary any specific area okay rohini icd okay now tell me fifth intercostal space okay mention the area it is triangle of safety very 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 important triangle of safety fifth intercostal space very very important 
okay kindly highlight this and keep it they'll ask you this okay icd where it is inserted yes rohini you are also right to be specific you can also mention it as fifth intercostal space mid axillary line okay but remember the triangle of safety okay right okay so triangle of safety fifth intercostal space you're going to insert your icd tube right and then you're going to connect to this immediately after inserting the icd tube what is this what is this not fourth or fifth okay one one answer only to be given in one option only to be select to be selected in exam right fifth intercostal space please select fifth intercostal space mid axillary line if mid axillary line is not given in the option select triangle of safety okay yes punit d you are correct all of you are correct it is icd drainage bag which is called as underwater seal drainage system drainage bag underwater seal drainage bag okay yes still here you will fill this with the water and then you will connect this end this tip with the icd tube okay as a nursing officer what you have to monitor in this very very important there should not be continuous air bubbles okay there should not be continuous air bubbles should not be should not be seen why it will tell you that there is air leakage as a nursing officer i have to monitor for air leakage okay yes continuous bubbling if you are saying it will tell you yes there is air leakage and one more important step is column movement you will check for the column movement right very good so now coming to one more question yes at the end of the class we are at the end of the class yes right we'll end it very soon yeah, but this is very important question let me see who is going to answer this hmm yes they are asking you what is the anti coagulant present in this vacuum tenier yes yes tell me nirmal vasanth is telling heparin david is telling heparin god created is telling it's not a burette this is a vacuum tenier okay what is this burette set is different that burette set is different okay this is vacuum tenier for blood collection yes tell me what is heparin citrate sodium citrate why lot of confusions i'll tell you how to remember i'll tell you okay so please listen to this uh, carefully i'll give you some clues and tell you how to remember anticoagulants and their uses one thing you have your red tube red tube which is very very basic tube there is okay red starting with red okay always starting with red there is nothing in it okay there is no anticoagulant okay <coughs> oh, r for red r for routine okay routine investigations like rft lft okay everything can be done next coming to the gray g for gray g for glucose okay if you want to estimate the glucose level you will collect that in gray tube and okay so g came here before g what is the alphabet it is f fluoride okay fluoride sodium fluoride is the anticoagulant that is present in gray color now coming to the purple color purple color see purple is ending with the letter e this is how you will remember i remember this like this only okay yes purple color ends with the letter called e any anticoagulant starts with the letter e yes edta right ha ah, any test that starts with e letter yes esr and your all inflammatory marker crp right you will send it in purple color tube okay purple ends with the letter e any anticoagulant that start with e edta and any investigation that starts with e esr so this how this is how you will remember okay this is a small trick to remember okay and now sky blue color for sky blue color i'll give you a sentence to remember so sky blue color okay pt usha loves sky blue color okay so pt pt usha loves sky blue color right 
so pt aptt for okay all coagulation studies you will send it in sky blue color so s for sky blue color s for any anticoagulant start with s yes there is one more apart from your sodium fluoride you have sodium citrate right sodium citrate that is present in your sky blue color right right now coming to green see green green is nature it will tell you yes greenery something related to nature okay naturally what anticoagulant is present in our body it is heparin okay naturally what anticoagulant is present in our blood it is heparin and that blood is produced naturally from where it is bone marrow right okay the use of green is bone marrow green greenery natural naturally what is present in our body heparin okay naturally blood is produced from bone marrow it is bone marrow now yellow how you will remember yellow any fruit that is yellow immediately what fruit will come into your mind lemon okay lemon what it has citrate it is citrate right c for citrate c for culture okay so yellow c for citrate c for culture okay right now <clears throat> pink okay something we'll discuss in a funny way okay if you want to remember pink color how you will remember pink see ha huh. if you, if you are chatting with your loved ones you want to get a kiss back from them when you are chatting in whatsapp how you will send short form nowadays short forms are very oftenly used in whatsapp chatting right kiss back kb right kb you will send kb kiss back right so similarly pink you will okay you can think of kb kiss kissing back okay but here it is not kissing back k for k2 edta okay k b i said right b for uh, blood grouping okay so this is how this with this trick you can remember all the heparin uh, the anticoagulants and the uses of the vacutaneous okay right this is how i remember that is that is what i am telling you okay so i think yes we are at the end of the session our um, whatever i thought of telling you i told it so next all the best for your preparation okay there are only 30 days in your hand that's with this 30 days entire your your life you can you you can change okay it depends upon your hard work your commitment okay so be committed with your plan be committed be consistent be positive okay right okay uh, chinu is telling it is it will be easy for us to remember thank you thank you so much okay right so do watch my previous sections very very important sessions i have made all the investigations all the x ray ct scan mri scan ultrasound that will be asked in all the nursing entrance exams i have covered do watch that and do subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe the only way you can share your love to my hard work is by subscribing to my channel and share to your friends don't forget and see you all in one more interesting video right um, very soon with one more live session and don't forget to share this to your friends who are preparing for all central government exams right so good night thank you all